Guys, welcome back to part two of the 240cc drag mini bike build. If you're interested in the details and how we got to this part, be sure to check out part one. Like I said in the last video, I want to make this thing as light as possible. We're going to have around 35 to 40 horsepower from this big bore blaster power plant. We're going to be working on finishing the rest of the frame. I am super excited for this build. I know it doesn't look like much, but this thing is really going to start to take shape and you guys are going to love it. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. So guys, I got to give a huge shout out to HTP for sending me their machines to try out. So they sent me the Pro Pools 220 their TIG welder and their plasma cutter. We definitely will be using the TIG welder on this build. For those of you that have never heard of HTP, these are actually the same welders that Cletus McFarland, Boosted Boys, 5th Street Fab use in their videos. So guys, these are super nice machines. So super big thanks to HTP. I'm really excited to try out these machines and these machines will definitely step up my fabrication game. But anyways, let's go ahead and get right into the mini bike build. really love how quiet this machine is. You can actually think. Went ahead and mocked up the top bars in the seat and I'm really loving how that looks. So we're going to have to do a little bit more cutting, tweaking, and notching, and then we can go ahead and weld the top bars back on. Wow, that is perfect. Alrighty guys, we got the top bars tacked in, so here I want to add some kind of bracing. I'm just using three quarter inch tube, very thin wall. Um, I think that kind of looks boring, so I went ahead and bent this piece up. Unfortunately, I do not have a three quarter inch die to bend this tube, so I bent it on a pipe bender, which you're not really supposed to do. So basically what I do is I stick a welding glove in here and I just send it. I wanted to have a little ducktail, and at this point there's no turning back. I want to practice a little bit of TIG welding on these joints. They're not the cleanest, but I did have around 15 minutes of practice prior to this. Uh, so let's go ahead and give it a shot. Thank you. 
so I'm still working on getting my technique right but uh I mean these are definitely okay I was only able to weld the top part uh, just because all of this is out of position these are gonna get ground down flush anyways so that doesn't really matter So with the engine as far back as possible, we had to make sure that this Kickstarter clears this tube right here and it's got perfect clearance, so that's good. So I don't like the way these look. I'm gonna go ahead and actually improve on the design. So yeah guys, I got the new bars welded in. I am happier with how that looks. I know it doesn't look like much difference, but basically we put more angle in these tubes and slanted them back more. So this mini bike sits at around 100 pounds, which is three times lighter than the quad it came off of. I bet this frame weighs somewhere between 10 and 20 pounds. Super light frame. Yeah guys, I am super happy with how it turned out. So a lot of these parts are provided by GoPowerSports.com. They're a big sponsor of the channel. So definitely check them out. It's going to help these builds keep going. And it's going to help make these builds get bigger and better. Big thanks to HTP for sending me these awesome machines. These are really awesome welders meant for professionals and hobbyists like myself. And I was pretty surprised at how fast I was able to pick up all these machines. Consider subscribing if you're new and hit that bell. Follow me on Instagram at VasiliBuilds. Now quite a few of you know that our city, Chattanooga, got hit by a crazy tornado, it destroyed hundreds of homes. We've never seen something like this in the past six to seven years. Definitely is unfortunate, but luckily our whole neighborhood was safe from it. We did have no power for about half a week, so that pushed me back about half a week. That's why my uploads are kind of delayed a little bit, but we'll get right back up, so stay tuned and peace. <laughs>